Hello, Aries. We're doing your Thunderdome today. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish it up if my phone doesn't cut me off at 33 minutes and 12 seconds like it has been doing. But we can only hope. I'm using my Deviant Moon today because I figured I'd give my Starman deck a break and I can actually shuffle these like a non-abnormal human being. Great, great. So we're going to do group one, group two. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of you really feel like no matter how hard you work, like, it, it, you just had to knock your own shit over. Like, I'm tired of putting in the initiative. I'm tired of trying to put the energy in. Fuck it. That's what you somewhat kind of feel like today. Like, I'm doing all of this work. And it still isn't coming together the way I want it to. So, group one, group two. Let's see. We'll start with group one. Seven of Swords reverse. Someone took some risks and probably paid for it. Five of Pentacles reverse. Temperance reverse. King of Pentacles in situation. Knight of Cups. In the obstacles and what comes against you in the star reverse. In the beginning as well as the end. The catalyst and the final result. With the beginning theme being the moon. Deals with emotions. Possibly getting played like a puppet. Right? So we have Gretchen here. She's my little gargoyle chick. Gretchen's badass. She also don't take no shit. She watches over the cards and whatnot. I like her. She's pretty cool. But yeah, um... Feeling like your emotions have been played with, like you can even see that there are puppet strings connected to the moon. The moon represents emotions, and someone feels like their emotions have been played with, like they've been used or abused or something like that. So, group one. Let us see. Yeah, take a few more on that. So, we got excessively risky behavior that didn't entirely pay off, right? With the Seven of Swords reverse. Usually it talks about, like, sneakiness. Um, coming to possibly even apologize for that sneakiness or try to make up for it. But it's reversed right here. And I feel like someone bit off way more than they can chew. And that's probably why they're coming back with apologies. There's one. Yeah, because their offer was shitty, or they were given a shitty offer. That's why they feel like they bit off more than they could chew with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Like, and here's the King of Pentacles down here. Maybe he was the one who gave the Pentacle that someone feels was a desire for risky behavior. Maybe someone saw that offer as risky and they didn't want to take it, or maybe this offer just provided nothing of good use. But the King of Pentacles is here in a situation. Which is just like, he's the provider. Look at his pinky up. Being all fancy, he's like, 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 he's all like, happy. Like, he made this, this industrialized pentacle. Where it's magnificent, beautiful, a lot better than what most people have. He created it himself. He's proud of himself. He's got his industry behind him, right? Could be Virgo. Also, Capricorn or Taurus. There are some... He's got his pentacle. And it's like he's saying pick one world or the other. But we still got this risky behavior up here with this pentacle that's a shitty offer. So it's kind of like, hmm. What is this about? Feeling, oh my god, if my little sister's angry, I'm beating ass. Like, that just popped up, and I will be ass. <laughs> anyway. Got that one. And this one. Okay. Yeah. Where your wants and wishes. You want to come back in from the cold, group one. You come back into the warm. You're tired of being out there, right? Because, once again, there are regrets, loss, grief that you're dealing with right here, right? 
But the obstacle, what's going against you is this Knight of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio person, right? They might be offering their cup. It's not bullshit. They're actually coming up. They're just kind of immature, not entirely immature, but they got that teenage angst energy, right? Might be snooping for the wrong reasons. Like they could be offering their cup, but it's not like they're offering their cup for good intentions, I feel like. Like, they are looking for things to, um, gather. Oh, there's... All these were all, like, flipped over. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, definitely want to come out of that guard where you want to come out of the cold, right? Like, here it is again. Look at this. Like, got your guard up all crazy because you're tired of being out here. Or you're trying to release your guard, but you don't know how to. Um... The world was wonky and like now you're feeling uh, just a uh, dad insecure keeping your cards to your chest because you know maybe there are some things that you played into as well possibly with that risky behavior the ace of pentacles but you still need to choose two worlds um then we got temperance up here reverse in the fears and rejections that is um sagittarius's card and this sagittarius is quite nettled to the point where um Impatience, anger, not wanting to come together to work with people, not wanting to come to communicate. Just, grr, right? Yeah, because someone got caught with their sneaky shit. Seven of Pentacles. Someone is very much impatient and very, very nettled because this situation has not come up for them yet that's like the fears and rejection so it's like someone's afraid somebody might be impatient possibly a sagittarius when it comes to coming back for an apology for this bullshit and it's the uh feeling like a puppet on the string right and then we have the star reversed in here which is no communication it could be dealing with an aquarius um someone might be arrogant and uncruel and they, and they might just be writing off and it could be aries doing this whole like me like taking your passion and writing off somewhere possibly even going for a fucking booty call which i feel like is possibly what started this to begin with right They're riding off to this page of swords, though. Like, the fire is going to the air. He's got their cup up, but it's like, I wouldn't trust the uh, page of swords. Because, like, okay, look at right? He's writing to this chick, but he's looking at her because, you know, like, she's got her cup right here with the um, Knight of Cups. But she has her sword swinging, like, swing away, Meryl. Like, I'm going to take your head off while you ride on that horse. Like, someone isn't talking about them leaving to be with this person who might not be of your best interest. Because you got left out in the cold, you want to come back in somewhere. What's the ending theme in all this? Yeah, that's the beginning and the end. Someone didn't communicate when they went riding for their booty call. Going, nee, all the way. With their little... Oh, uh, I was going to say the horse is something, but, like, I don't want to be that graphic because of the positioning. Offer! So, yeah, someone's having their emotions played with, with an offer. And there's a king of pentacles and there's a page of pentacles, and I don't think they're the same person. Someone's taking risky behaviors with this, um, bad ace of pentacles. And ignoring that this King of Pentacles um, might just come to some sort of decision right here, right? There are all of you that just flung out of my hand. I almost said this horsey was his you-know-what, because it's that big. And it rides in steady. And, like, I don't know. I'm not going to go that far into it, because I'm getting imaginative and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I... My husband knows what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, look at someone like. Okay. Someone feels like something didn't come their way no matter how they worked on it. So now they're just kind of hanging out for a bit, right? Because they don't feel like themselves in this possibly really catastrophic home. Like it sucks their life away right and now the towers happen and instead of like accepting it someone's just keeping guard and it's making this stuff 
linger a little more than what it should, right? Right. All right. What are the three advice cards? I'm just saying, his horse could easily just represent his penis. It's like that horsepower. Like an F-350, 150? I don't know what the fuck vehicles are called. I just know that, like, it gets revved and it goes and it's like, I don't know. It's like a Dave truck. Like a Dave truck, like our landlord Dave. He's got a massive fucking truck. Oh my god, that sounds so bad. <laughs> That's what it reminds. It reminds me of someone's. She likes that landlord's big, massive fucking truck. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Lesson's over here, like trying to help me with illustrations of the mind. Okay. Imagine the large team he could carry on that thing. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he's basically <laughs> describing the energy <laughs> of the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Oh, I love you, man. I swear. <laughs> I try not to interrupt your videos, but when I do, hopefully at least it's funny and they like it. It, it does. This, that's the vibration <laughs> the Knight of Wands is giving. Just sitting there, just being like, mm, I want to take you to the dick I'm not. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely lack of clarity for you, Grape One. You don't know what it is you're trying to do. Like, you know there's risky behavior with this one offer, but down below, here's an offer from... Wait. I don't think you realize this King of Pentacles is not a King of Pentacles. Because he's got an offer. This is an immature offer. And whatever the offer is, is not good, or it's not opening up. There's too much risk with it, right? And you're looking for some balance somewhere, possibly dealing with the labor, which is why this Page of Swords is possibly here. But I feel like... Okay, red represents power, energy, stuff like that. This dude's wearing all red. This person's got red in their pocket, so they're hiding something, right? There's something up their sleeve to almost counteract the red right here. It's just a little piece, but that's like enough. It's like keeping a piece of somebody's soul. Like, they really, like, there's always a way to, like, counteract shit. Oh, let me get two cards for the end for you. Yeah, definitely taking your time. Definitely take your time to, um, think about this relationship, group one. Because I got a feeling that, like, you really don't know as much as what should be lit on. All right, I'm gonna be right back because I gotta open a window. Okay, sorry about that. It was like burning up in here and I'm hot, but not in like a sexy way, but in an actual temperature way. So, you know, that, that had to be taken care of because I'm not burning, we will not burn the witch today. <laughs> All right, let's move on to um, group two. But yeah, group one, it seems like, um, if you do take an offer from somebody, pay attention because I think they're playing with your emotions a little bit. I'm trying to take you to the decamot, whatever we call it. All right, group two. Let's see what's going on with you. Definitely wanting to end something. That just popped out. Hello, fats. What is my fat kitties doing today? Spacing out all the way. Being all cute today. Oh, look at you, switch your cuteness. I love my cats. I do. He's such a good boy. They're not being as attached to me today because Dad is here. Let's see. Yeah, definitely trying to work on something, the group too. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. All right. No whammies. All righty. Yeah, I already know. I did that already. All right. So, group two, we got the Emperor. Ooh, this could definitely be Aries, the controller, the manipulator, the one who adapts, the one who makes the world shape and the world he dominates. Yes. 
Uh, wants and wishes, four of swords. Fears and rejections, seven of wands reversed. Not being able to get out of a bad situation. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Um, bad offer. That's the situation. Look at that. All right. When it's reversed, you're getting power from the dragon. Well, when it's upright, power from the dragon. When it's reversed, don't fucking take it because it's going to eat you in the end. It's like a beast that can't be tamed. That's the situation. Knight of Swords reversed. In the, uh, not in reverse, but in the, um, obstacles as well as challenges. He was down here for group one, too. No, that was the page, but still. And that's card number 13. Scorpio's energy. And the catalyst as well as the final result, the beginning and the end. I don't know why I shuffled these, but that's okay. Beginning theme is two of wands for you, group one. Making a decision. Will you dig your hole even deeper, or do you think that's enough onions to cry over? It's literally what it's telling me. Like, are you going to dig yourself a deeper hole, or are you just going to go ahead and cry on, over the onions you've already opened up and cut up, basically? Like, your emotions are already open. You need to decide what you're going to do. You gonna bury those onions, or are you gonna bury yourself? You just gonna keep digging, or are you, or are you good? Huh. Such contrast. Okay. The Emperor. Could be Aries, because that's your card. You guys, for some reason, have like... Six zillion freaking cards, because you got there first, right? A lot of things emulate your energy. But you're definitely in the position of dominating. Um, head is rather big. And I don't know if it's because of the hat, but the hat, but the head is rather big. Yeah, you are ready to go to calmer waters at this point. Group one. Like, you want to be in control. If this is your Aries, or if this is Aries, they want to move on to calmer waters. To be, like, if there's a woman or child involved, they're definitely trying to get go somewhere possibly with somebody else because it'd just be calmer that way there's a sense of mourning loss stuff like that but with this ace of pentacles reverse it's an insecurity feature um that's the situation like this shitty offer like leads to insecurities like is someone offering to take your areas away or are you being given a chance to um go somewhere and yet like the more you look at the offer the more you realize it's insecurity based because that's kind of how i feel like this is a shitty offer or maybe it feels like this offer is like getting an offer from the devil itself because like it's reversed so it's kind of like this offer will consume you in the worst way possible because the dragon's all nuts and such and then and that might lead to insecurity so it's just kind of like are you taking this offer to go somewhere new not realizing that like you're going to be triggered because that's how you get triggered um four of swords that's what you want you want to relax you want to rejuvenate you want to rest possibly dealing with a queen of swords reverse a scorned woman at that libra gemini aquarius and they are definitely down here below where they really want to ride and talk and shit about this insecurity this shitty offer like she's sitting here with her sword up being like n mother yeah i will cut you motherfucker <laughs> like she'll cut a nigga that's for sure someone wants rest from this queen of swords and that's why they want to dominate elsewhere that's why they're taking off like this queen of swords coming over here or it's this queen of swords she needs to rest and that's why she's leaving because she doesn't feel like she's in control she's not grounded enough unfortunately we have the knight of swords down here and as the obstacle as well as the challenge which is someone wanting to run up and talk some shit they want to talk some shit, but they're going inside before they figure out um, what to say. It's like someone's keeping all their negative whatever. Whatever they could say about this offer and this insecurity, whatever they're holding on to too tightly to their chest. Like, they want to say something, but they're not saying anything at all. They're keeping it to themselves. They're going inside. Like, they're just, yeah, like, they're both in the position of looking at the... But this dude's silent while in his head. He's just like... Nah, 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 nah. 
and shit like that, right? Right. Just wants to run his mouth, but he doesn't. Like, whoever this is definitely wants to break from this, like, I mean, this could be a Virgo or someone with Virgo in their energy, but it's just kind of like, you know, like someone's keeping to themselves what they want to say about this shit offer and all these insecurities that are, they're ne that are, they're now holding on to for dear life, but they're keeping silent instead. Instead, they'd rather just leave. They'd rather just leave and go dominate somewhere else or do something somewhere else. So this could be your Aries. If not, this is you trying to get away from a situation. Now, um... Seven of Wands is like someone trying to get out of a bad situation, but they can't find the way. Even though they're on the right path, they don't know where to go after that. Um, and that's dealing with an offer that's been delayed, yielded, or just halted altogether. Like they can't find their way out because they aren't getting an offer. That's the fear and rejection. Or maybe this offer will be recounted. Now for the beginning, as well as the final result with the death card. Everything ends so something new can begin. With a breakup. This is the end of a relate. Uh, uh, this is either the end of a relationship if someone's breaking up, or somebody's ending a relationship, or this is the end of that kind of breakup or something. That uh, I don't know. I, I I really feel like someone um, feels kind of lost, feels really upset, feels like they weren't treated fairly, and now they're just going elsewhere. Or they're watching someone go elsewhere. Because all of these cards right here are all watching this way. Of what's happened, right? Like someone watched somebody walk away and they still need to accept it. Ending theme is Queen of Cups. Cancer or Pisces Scorpio. Who needs to make some sort of decision right here. Or make a choice. Choose one world over the other. Let's see what the advice for these are. Right? Right. Okay. Um, someone was waiting during this period of time where someone was like taken off, leaving them insecure, leaving them with no choices or whatever. God damn it. totally just got some coffee on my cards. It's not cool. Um, someone feels like they were cheated and lied to. Queen of Wands reversed. Someone was lied to. Could have been the Aries that lied to you. Someone kept information away from you. Someone wasn't being fair. Someone was being extra demanding. Being more dominant than what they should have been. And someone was just unwilling to change their ways. That's why the relationship's dying and no offers being given and someone's being left out um, alone in the wilderness to fend for themselves and not be really being given anything um, because someone was not willing to change. So, yeah. So that is the Thunderdome for Aries. You all have a good day. Thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal video, just check out my email in my description box. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.